Oh, <laughs> that that's rough. <laughs> Pretty rough. The time has come. <laughs> this video has been long, long overdue. But finally, we are going to see if we can do some video editing on the Raspberry Pi 4. This is the um, 8 gigabyte version. Now, if you recall when we tried this on my Raspberry Pi 3, which was, God, like <laughs> two or three years ago as of recording this video <laughs> already, um, it didn't go particularly well. But considering the Raspberry Pi 4 is much more capable than the 3 is, I'm at least hoping it'll be better. Obviously, I don't expect this thing to handle 4K rendering. Absolutely not. But I would think it'd be able to handle 720p or 1080p video editing. I mean, it can play back HD video, so I don't see why <laughs> it can't render out video. So I guess we'll find out. So just like what we had with the Raspberry Pi 3, um, we have Raspberry Pi OS running on the Pi 4. Um, I can't remember which version that we're on as it's, to be honest, quite a while since I've played around with Raspberry Pi OS. I've mainly been using my Raspberry Pi 4 for like retro emulation for playing like NES, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Nintendo 64 games. So I haven't really been messing around with this much besides for that. So our video editor of choice is going to be OpenShot. If I recall, I think we tried using OpenShot video editor on the Raspberry Pi 3 and that didn't go very well. Um, and before that we tried, I think it was called KDEN Live and that was even worse. But like I said before, I'm hoping the results will be a little better with the Raspberry Pi 4. So I'm going to go make some footage here quick in both 720p and 1080p, import it to the Raspberry Pi into OpenShot and see how it goes. So we shall see you all momentarily. All right, here's our footage. Let's import it to OpenShot. So go to file files it's in the video section and there's our files um now i recorded a few clips in 720p 1080p and just for the hell of it i even recorded some footage in 4k just to see how much the raspberry pi is going to choke but i don't remember which <laughs> Which one of these is in which resolution? Oh well, we'll find that out. <laughs> well, it's it's not the speediest thing in the world in terms of importing footage, but it does it. Not particularly fast, but it does it. All right, let's start with playing my simple channel intro. See if we can handle that. And granted, this was recorded in 1080p, so let's see how it goes. E. Yeah, a little choppy. It's not terrible, but far from ideal. Also, I don't, I don't know why the audio wasn't playing either. It could be the case that I might not have my speakers on my monitor turned on, maybe. Let me see. Oh, yep, that'd be why. Turn that shit up! Oh, ow! I just hit my elbow. How about now? <laughs> I 
Still no audio? Okay. Let me try opening an application and see if the audio plays that way. <laughs> nope. Huh. Yeah. I literally have no idea why your audio isn't working. Yeah, whatever. We'll just go without it. Screw it. We'll do it live. Do it live. Okay. Now, I th think this clip is the 720p one. <laughs> Although I can't really remember. And the fact that for some reason I can't get audio to work. Um, <laughs> yeah, I won't be able to tell. I think this is 720p at least. Uh, it's a little choppy. But the real test is if we're going to be able to render it out. <laughs> Since we don't have any audio, I just decided to add my own. Preview is pretty choppy. And also there's quite a bit of delay for the user interface. But, I mean, if it works, it works. Let's export it. So 720p test. And we want to do, yeah, 720p 30 frames per second. Look at that. Perfect. Highest quality. And we'll just put that in the videos folder and see how she goes. 720p test. If it'll load. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. Oh, there it goes. Look at that. It plays perfectly fine. Cool. I did see there was a little bit of screen tearing. I don't know if that has something to do with the video playback or if it's a fault that rendered out in the video. I might have to play that back on my actual editing software and in order to know for sure. But yeah, rendered out perfectly fine, albeit with some minor issues with that screen tearing that may or may not be associated with OpenShot. All right, so let's get rid of the 720p footage and import the 1080p footage and see how that goes. Oh, <laughs> that, that's rough. <laughs> Pretty rough. But hopefully just like 720p, it renders out perfectly fine. Guess we'll find out. So we're going to call this one 1080p test. And then we're going to render that out at 1080p 30 frames per second. And go. All right, there it is. And I did finally figure out the issue with the audio. So even though for some reason it's not coming out of the HDMI um, audio through the monitor, I was able to connect my Bluetooth speaker via an aux cable to the Raspberry Pi and now we're getting audio. So it's not ideal, but if it works, it works. So. Hey. Video editing on a Raspberry Pi 4. That plays back perfectly fine. We, we still have that, like, screen flickering or screen tearing, but... No, she isn't. Hello. Yeah. 
It <laughs> so far so good. We're two for two. I'm impressed. This is already going a lot better than <laughs> than it did with the Raspberry Pi 3. And saving the best for last just for shits and giggles. <laughs> Let's see how this thing handles rendering 4K. I have a feeling it's probably not going to go very well, but we're going to do it anyway. Because this is my channel, damn it. Not yours. All right, let's see how she plays. <laughs> oh no. Even the user interface is like slowing way down. <laughs> it's like it knows. It's like, please, I can't handle this. Why are you doing this? <laughs> oh, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's real bad. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much what I expected. <laughs> but let's see if we're able to render it out in 4K <laughs> and have it be actually playable. Let's see. So we'll do 4K test. And we're going to render out at where is it i know it's somewhere here yeah there we go 4k 2160p 30 frames per second i can't believe we're actually doing this on a raspberry pi <laughs> uh i mean to be fair the raspberry pi 4 does have the capabilities of displaying at 4k but i highly Did it just crash? <laughs> I think I think it just crashed. <laughs> Hang on a second. I mean, it rendered out something, but like only 48 bytes of it, so like just barely anything. Okay, so just in case we end up losing all of our footage, we are just going to save the project first before we render it out. So save. All right, let's try this again. So 4K test, 30 frames per second. All right, let's try this again. Oh, come on. Come on, Raspberry Pi, you can do it. You can do it. I have faith in you. Well, knock on wood, we're getting further. That's a plus. Damn it! <laughs> I spoke too soon. <laughs> uh, I almost wonder. Let's try playing this back and see how much it rendered and see what happens. Oh, nothing. <laughs> nothing absolutely nothing all right we're going to try this one more time and if it still doesn't work we're just going to call it quits because honestly i don't care if this thing can render 4k or not it was able to do 720p and 1080p at the minimum so we already accomplished that much so 2160p 30 frames per second Let's try low quality and see if that gives us a different result. I highly doubt it will, but let's try it anyway. Listen to that fan right now. <laughs> this thing's working extra hard. The pie is just like, no, why are you doing this? I can't handle 4K video editing. Why are you doing this? Oh no! <laughs> it cracked again. Yeah, yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. So 4K is a no-go on this thing. Absolutely no-go. <laughs> yeah, I figured, but I wanted to try it anyway. 
But at least we did accomplish what we set out to do. So can you do video editing on the Raspberry Pi 4? Surprisingly, yeah, you can. If you lower your expectations just a little bit with enough time and patience, you can make a surprisingly competent video at 720p or 1080p on the Raspberry Pi 4. Now, your results may vary if you have a two gigabyte or four gigabyte version, because like I said before, I'm using the eight gig version. So just keep that in mind. So before I end off this video, I am going to do a direct capture of our finished projects in 720p and 1080p and show you how it went. Video editing on the Raspberry Pi 4 in open shot at 720p. Yeah! Piper says hi, by the way. Video editing on the Raspberry Pi 4 in 1080p in open shot. Yeah! Piper's asleep this time. Oh wait, no she isn't. Hello! Video editing on the Raspberry Pi 4 in open shot at 4K. I highly doubt this is going to work, but yeah! There's Piper again in glorious 4K. Look at that. Look at that quality. <laughs> I'm sorry, Piper.